I got this really interesting, realistic cassette deck. It's a SET 3000. And this is supposed to be the holy grail of Radio Shack cassette decks. And this one just got completed in my shop. I cleaned the tape path and cleaned under the top cover. There was some dust. And just very, you know, general maintenance on the deck, checking the belts, making sure everything is lubricated, and uh, the deck is running great. Just needed a general cleaning. So this one, like I said before, was the top of the line Radio Shack cassette deck that they made for the time. And they made a few others that were really good. I don't know if this is like the top, top one, but from what I've read on the internet about this one, it's a pretty sought after model and it's got some interesting features on it it's got those uh soft touch controls on the front it's got a little uh bias test which is cool and since this is a three head deck you can monitor that and then it has this uh level test here too you can see on the oscilloscope it's quite an interesting model. Let's see, if you put the test button on. Okay, that's the tape. That's the source. Let's see. So, source, tape. And you can adjust those levels on the front panel. I believe what this is running is um, 400 hertz. Let's see. Yeah, about 400 hertz, 430 hertz, roughly. And this one was made during the Type 3 cassette era, but not compatible with metal. So this one is probably before the 80s. I'd have to look it up to know exactly what date this uh, deck ranged from, but if I were to guess, it's probably the late 70s, but metal was out by then, so not sure entirely. Maybe you can let me know in the comments. And has the Dolby B, I believe, has the noise reduction on here. And here's the layout for the output, which also works for the headphone jack too and get a little uh, attenuation on there and the record level knob is not completely even so in order to make the channels balanced you have to make it look like this you'd have the inner channel the outer right here not match up completely i've seen that in many other decks before let's take a look here at the heads on this deck a three head model, dual capstan, really has all the bells and whistles that you would need in a tape player. It's a nice cassette tray. And here's what it looks like with the top cover off. You can see it's quite a sturdy build. It's got a robust two motor mechanism and the flywheels are quite sizable on here to other top of the line models from other brands. And then you got a shielded transformer, which is pretty good. So they did not go cheap on this deck. So before it goes back to the customer, I just wanted to show it off and say that I agree with you guys on the internet about these decks. I think they're great. I mean, they have a nice look to them. The layout is ergonomic. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that these decks also shared a similar assembly line with Denon or had a partnership with them because the back of this deck looks similar to many other Denon decks for the time. And you can see the back kind of has like that 
that plastic where a lot of the denims at the time had. And there you go, it was made by Radio Shack. And they also had other brands that they used under the Radio Shack name like Optimus. Uh, Realistic was, you know, one just like this. And uh, they had a, other, a couple other in-house brands. And that's the end of this video. If you like videos like this and want to see more of what I'm working on in the shop, hit that like button and let me know in the comment section below. I work on quite a few cassette decks during the week and have a bunch of different models that I could showcase if you guys are interested. But until then, thanks for watching.